graph. An example is log pace four of sixteen. This is how it's read: log pace four of sixteen. To evaluate this logarithm, the first step is to set it equal to y. So log pace four of sixteen equals y. Second, write it in the exponential function form. The base is four. The exponent is y equals to sixteen. So four to the power of y equals sixteen. You can just think of an exponent that when four is raised to gives you sixteen. Hmm. Sounds like four to the second power equals sixteen. Therefore, log Pace four of sixteen equals two, because four to the second power gives me sixteen. Here's another logarithm to evaluate. First, set it equal to y. Log base seven of seven equals y. Second, write it in the exponential function form. The base is seven. The exponent is y equals to seven. Seven to the power of y equals seven. Now think of an exponent that, when seven is raised to, gives you seven. A number would equal itself, and an exponential function, f and only f, the exponent is one. So, y equals one, and seven to the power of one equals seven. Therefore, log base seven of seven equals one, because seven to the one to the first power equals seven. Here's one more logarithm to evaluate. Log pace five of one. First step is to set it equal to y. Second, write it in the exponential function form. The base is five. The exponent is y. The answer is one. Five to the power of y equals one. Now think of an exponent when five is raised to. Gives you one. A base of a power would equal to one if and only if the exponent is zero. So y equals to zero. Five to the power of zero equals one. Therefore, log base five of one equals to zero because five to the zero power e. Equals one. We conclude that a logarithm is an exponent. In other words, the answer to a logarithmic function is the exponent in the exponential function.